Hey guys, welcome back for another video. Um, here we're going to be talking about the new Ginyu Force that's coming. Yeah, I know, I did not talk about this yet. Uh, very interesting because uh, you're usually on top of all that kind of stuff. So, um, as we see over here, well, for one other thing, uh, Legendary Summons is now on for the, for the Trunk Spanner. Not really that big news, you all kind of know what's going on, I already talked about that. Uh, right now, the Birder event is live. He's alive on Mondays, apparently. Um, you go in there, you get, you actually run the event, run the event as much as you can. You get Birder, get him to Super Attack 10, get all four do pads unlocked. Um, get him, his potential system activated 100%. You're going to want to do this for all of the Ginyu Force members. Once you get the four of those Ginyu Force members all set up, um, you will get the LR Ginyu Goku Ginyu Force um, in getting them all maxed out. <clears throat> I think you also, do the, yeah, you also do the regular Captain Ginyu as well. Um, but you have to actually, so yeah, you get all five of them, I'm, I'm apolo apologize about that. Um, each individual event gets their own specific orb, so you don't have to use your own orbs for it. Um, you, like, Birder has his own Birder orbs, and Guldo has his, and Raccoon, and so on. So you can go ahead and do that, and you get them all maxed out. Once you go do that, I mean, I'm not going to go through every single little bit of all the instructions here, but once you get them all maxed out, you go over here into the Missions tab. And once you're in the Missions tab, you go to the special missions and you scroll all the way down the bottom as you see over here like agility special training five times 15 20 25 30 times um pretty much you just need to go through and grab the do burger three times 30 times get all of his poten potential get him activated 100 percent you get uh grand elder kai for that then you do the same thing with the tech once you get the tech i think it's a like guldo and then you do that for all of them and then all the way down here once you've done that for every single one of them you get 100 percent ginyu goku ginyu force ginyu he is the leader for that so, uh, real quick, um, before I actually do the actual video of, of playing the actual level, we're going to switch over to the Chrome view real quick. Actually, that's not the one I wanted. There we go. That, no, that's not it either. Chrome record. There we go. Apologies about that. <laughs> um, this is the burger that we're going to be going for. I'm not going to go deep in depth with this, uh, just because there's way too much going on. Uh, but you have the SSRs that drop. They all Doken Waken with metals. Uh, once you Doken Waken them, they become a lot better units, obviously. Um, go over here, like this guy, attack plus 10% per key orb obtain high chance to evade enemies attack, including super attacks, as first attacker in turn, so you're gonna want him to be your primary unit, um, so stuff like that. The only thing is, like, he, it doesn't, although, so he does supreme damage, raises his own defense, um, pretty much you have all these guys, they all do something special, attack to enemy, attack and defense, minus 15%, obviously his Dokkan form is gonna do a little bit more, it's, uh, 20% for two turns, uh, you have Captain Ginyu, raises attack, extreme damage, uh, well, you know, let's go back over here and TUR as well. Uh, it's kind of hard to keep plus three attacking defense plus 70 percent when facing one enemy damage received minus 50 percent when facing two or more enemies so that's interesting so um he might actually come in handy for some of you for doing the uh, super battle road uh because he is a little bit more of a tank and you would prefer to it's preferable to have tanks and once you're down to one enemy he will at least be doing damage and he'll be self-sufficient so that's also available looks like he is an intelligence leader um you have jice over here when he doken awakens extreme uh, class allies Key plus 2, attack plus 20%, foresees enemy super attack, which is very interesting, I wonder how that works. Uh, I never actually did it on the JP side, I'm assuming that when he's on the field, you could see who is uh, going to do a super attack. Uh, let's see over here, requires special potential orbs, blah, 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 very, uh, doesn't actually say how that actually works. I will do a, a review of that when that, well, when I actually do have time to do that. Uh, once you get uh, Raccoon over here, he has defense plus 80%, attack plus 14% with each attack received, up to 70%, so uh, I'm not a big fan of that me uh, mechanic myself, but he is a little bit of a tanker because he has a defense, and he greatly lowers the enemy's defense, so that's alright. Um, and then the actual Ginyu Force, we have the LR Ginyu over here, and this guy is, let's see, all types, uh, HP attack and defense plus 70%, I'm sorry, that is not the right Ginyu. It is this Ginyu, it's the Tech Ginyu over here. This is the Tech Ginyu that you get. Ginyu Force Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 100%. Greatly raises, raises Attack for one turn, or Mega Colossal Damage, which raises Extreme Class Allies Attack by 30% for one turn. Passive Skill, Extreme Class Allies Attack and Defense plus 30%. Now, not only is he a Ginyu Force lead, he's also a good support unit for, for uh, villains. He also does Ginyu Force allies attacking defense plus 20% in addition. So when he's on the field, he's giving everyone who has a Ginyu Force category attacking defense plus 50%, which is ridiculous. Um, on top of that, they all link very well together, obviously. Um, so, yeah, go ahead and do that. Also, uh, uh, when the Frieza missions, which should be coming out soon, um, you're going to want to get your Frieza set up to 100%. These guys will increase the drop rates. Um, of his card, I believe it would be, um, on the final level of the, uh, of the actual LR Frieza event. 
Now, me personally, when that LR Freeze event does come around, I'm probably not going to grind out all those medals. I've been slowly doing it. It uh, looks like the event's going to come out sooner than I anticipated. And if that is the case and it comes out very soon, then I'm probably just going to use the Elder Kaisers. I'm not doing that grind like I did with LR Goku. LR Goku grind literally burned me out of Dokkan Battle. I didn't play for a couple months. I don't want that to happen again. So, Elder Kais it is. Uh, but yeah, in order for you to get this LR, you literally need to get Birder, J Guldo, Captain Ginyu, Jice, and Raccoon all 100% in their respective dupe systems. Once you do that, you will unlock all the rewards, and then you'll be able to get this Captain Ginyu. This guy, I have no idea if we're actually going to get or not, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. But uh, yes, you do want to get the, you want to get this guy because he's a pretty damn decent unit. Uh, plus, if you're trying to take place in the, um, the Freeze event, it's definitely going to make life a little bit easier for you. Uh, I wonder also with the Ginyu Force tag over here, does it actually say anything about it? Um, there's nothing specific in here about other events other than the LR Freeze event. Maybe it'll come in handy in the future, but I will say that they are... This is probably the strongest free-to-play team in-game on the JP side as of right now. So if you are free-to-play, definitely 100% may focus your time on that. I will. I am personally going to focus my time on it, but I'm just not going to go that hard. Um, like, I won't have it all done uh, right away. But uh, real quick, we're going to go back over to my actual game. Um, Dokun recording, there we go. Um, and we're going to just jump into the event real quick. Uh, let's see, over here we have the Ginyu. I'm just going to do it one time with you guys. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty much... Um, oh, we're going to go over here. We're going to bring my uh, team with my Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Because uh, <laughs> I'm hyped about that. There we go. Oh, no, we got to get extremes out of there. Oh, no, that's what, I, what am I doing? There we go. So Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, um, Gogeta, uh, LR, and there we go. Pretty much all, all my good units. <laughs> Alright, there's Burger. Pretty much all you do is you come into this event, and you go down what path you want to choose. Uh, I typically choose the uh, path with the large orbs, because the large orbs are the, hard, are the ones that are the most pain in the butt to get. So, there we go. I think the orb should be on the, the, the large one should be on the right. Yes, they are on the, on the right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I typically go on the right path for the large. Uh, usually the drops are going to be from Birder, are going to be, um, or from any unit, uh, that is. Uh, should typically be small and medium. You have a higher chance. And when they drop, their ratio of dropping is definitely a lot higher. Um, you go over here. Once you get the card, you can go straight and end it. When you have all four Dupaz unlocked in Super Attack 10, you could do that. But because I don't, I'm going to go over here, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to face a burger. I don't know if this actually closes off or not. I don't think it does, but we're going to go over here and we're going to fight him. Um, so we're going to do three, and then we're going to do two. And then we're going to do two, and then we're going to do... Actually, we're going to do one, and then we're going to do three. I try to get at least like two per um, thing over here, because that way I know I'm, I'm kind of solid because I, I got an even amount. So I was able to get two um, sets of orbs per one because it goes small, medium, large. Uh, I didn't get to, uh, all the smalls. There. I only got one small, but I'm not worried about that. And it's my first time running it, so I might actually get the burger card on the first try because it is... Um, uh, my, my, this guy uh, hits a lot harder. There you go. <laughs> uh, just because it's the first time. I think I think it's a guaranteed drop on the first one. There we go. He should one-shot him. It shouldn't be a problem. They're not that strong. Let's see. Look at that. Beautiful. Yep. Yeah, he one-shot it. And yep, I got the battle card. So, again, just keep on running this event. Uh, if that path happens to be locked out, just go straight to the star and just keep on running it. Keep on running it until you beat it enough times. 30 times, I think you're going to need to run it more than 30 times to get all the orbs. But again, I usually go for large, um, and then I collect the small and mediums while I can. Um, and then I go into the dupe system, obviously. And then once I get enough dupe system, um, I'm usually solid uh, to go from there. But uh, that's it, guys. Yeah, all these orbs, remember, they are burner specific All their orbs are individually specific, so you don't need to worry about um, using your own orbs. And these orbs cannot be used on other members of the Ginyu Force. These orbs cannot be used on any of your other units. So, uh, yeah, keep that in mind as well. But anyway, guys, that is it. Um, there's pretty much nothing else. It's pretty well, Everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. And I will catch you all later. Peace out.